Yeah, guys, Neo stock, Neo stock video on the weekend. We're going to be talking about semiconductors, guys, and looking at what could Neo's highest price be in 2030, guys. Not financial advice, just my opinion. But we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about semiconductors and what people are forgetting or not focusing on guys so as you know neo stock price closed well eight uh, four eighty three four dollars eighty three on friday as you can see there moved up from being bashed down we're looking at the day chart there but what people are not really focusing on right is the semiconductors and that's where the future of neo you know the profitability the profits of neo are going to basically you know balloon guys explode right we're talking about over a billion, in my opinion, not financial advice, we're talking about over a billion dollars, right? Revenue per year, just on the semiconductors. Um, so, so Neo stock is not only, you know, increasing sales for, their, for you know, for their cars, but it's, possibly could be the next nvidia right because the reliance on nvidia has been you know up to really a year ago it's it's moving away it's shifting right neo are building advanced technology guys they've got the 5nm chip right they've got the 5nm chip and they created the NX9031, right? Which is their five nanometer, the five NM, the five nanometer. So it's advanced production. Neo are engaged in with these chips, guys. Advanced production technology. And that's what people forget. People just focus on Oh, you know, Neo sales, it wasn't that great for this week, like, you know, like last week or the previous week. And then they think about, you know, they don't really look overall year on year, Neo sales are growing and how, you know, all right, they're spending money because because of the um, rapid expansion of the, uh, you know, battery swapping stations and obviously the sales outlets, etc. But people, they don't look at the bigger picture. You know, um, in 2025, in 2025, guys, which is like around the corner, right? We, today's the 24th of November, 2024. Market, it's not open, right? Yeah, it's a weekend, Sunday. It's not open yet. UK time, right? It's 3.30, coming up to 3.34 p.m., so the market isn't open yet, but you can see the chart here. And what people, you know, Neo, if you're a Neo investor, yeah, or a Neo swing trader, thinking you're gonna make a little bit of profit, get out, and then miss out on a bigger thing, right? In 2025, Neo are incorporating it NX9031, right, guys, the five nanometer their advanced chip into the ET9 sedan. That's in 2025, guys, right? So Neo is set to make, you know, to well, first of all, Neo is set to save a lot of money, right? A lot of money um, building their own chips. And then when they, when they can sell the chips or license the chips, or sell the chips to other Chinese EV makers and also other, you know, because um, they could be used not just for EVs, 
not just for, you know, driver assist, um, infotainment, you know, intelligent driving systems. They can be used for other 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 things. Other things, not not just uh, EVs. So that's where people don't, you know, people forget or they're not aware of, right? And they obviously don't, they're not focusing on the potential because, you know, when you're talking about automo you know, autonomous vehicle technology, that is basically where things are heading, right? Um, especially with EVs, because they've got the power there, right? They've got the, they could do it, obviously, like, you know, in petrol, diesel, gas vehicles, da da da. But with, with EVs, because it's all, you know, they've got the constant electricity, the constant power, it works, you know, obviously, like, you've got that constant power. So with EVs, that's why you're seeing uh, autonomous you know vehicle technology and the auto chips being used but you've got to think right that neo are ahead of the game they're ahead of the game right people just focusing on oh this sales that sales but you've got to realize that you know neo are they're they're building they're an EV maker, right? They're an EV maker, but they're building the chips now. They're building the chips in-house. In-house, guys. They're building their own chips. They're not relying on um, NVIDIA or, you know, Qualcomm and being subject to, like, you know, geopolitical restrictions or you know whatever so they're building their own chips right they're not getting bogged down with um geopolitical issues and that's what i was saying in my previous videos if you was listening guys about neo expanding and how sales are already dropping in te um, in china for tesla right because byd are they've already started to take over sales and I was talking about in my previous videos about that, you know, about tariffs and how the Chinese government can sway people away from buying Tesla and US, you know, products, etc. And buy EV, you know, Chinese EVs. And that's why people miss the trick, right? People focus on, they see a share price falling, right? Although it went up, you know, 770 Neo stock. But they see, they see it fall back down and then get to this stage, you know, like $5, five dollars, five fifty, and they think, all right, it's going to head back up. And then it gets bashed down on bad news. And they start, you know, all the like the little day traders, you know, with their hundred dollars, blah, 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 whatever. They start to panic and bash Neo, right? But they're not seeing the bigger picture that any stock could get bashed down when it's in production, per se, you know, with chips and advancing and, and and spending money right to expand a lot obviously it's going to be kind of like it's not going to come across as strong right because the spending's gone up it's going to come across as weak but people forget that a lot of big companies today that they were spending money losing money for years and years and years right like amazon for example you know, any 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 of the big companies, you know, were losing money um, in development and, and so on, right? Even Tesla, Tesla is like twenty one years old. People think just because it went up, you know, in two thousand and like twenty two thousand twenty one, they think that Tesla was born, you know, like in two thousand and nineteen. But it's been around twenty one years. Neo's only been around ten years, right? And the thing is, the future is AI, right? Artificial intelligence. And that's what... Um, they, they are the chips, right? Neo's built an advanced chip, right? With a 5NM chip, yeah? The 5 nanometer chip. 
it's, it's a very it's very advanced guys it's, it's it's it makes nvidia look you know like let's say i don't know myspace when then facebook came along or, or, or how facebook is today compared to like myspace when it first come out that's how you know the technology that neo have developed makes nvidia look and nvidia know it and nvidia is set for a crash guys because as the technology advances in china people are going to turn to neo for that technology and nvidia is going to lose a lot of business to china and it's huge the market in china is huge right so that's what people should know about um neo stock neo stock is basically the next nvidia and ev car manufacturer uh, manufacturer and battery swapping profits from there and coffee uh, and luxury products and the list goes on and on and on right so you know you can't introspect reading a comment or listening to videos that people talk about neo stock because like you know they're kind of like bashing neo stock right even like mr prickly pear he's talking about you know it's all negativity coming from him and i don't believe that he's um i don't believe he owns stock in neo and if he does i don't believe he owns a lot because he was talking about neo stock you know from 66 67 dollars or whatever and he seems to be bashing, unless he wants to bash it down to get a cheaper price to buy more. But, you know, if you're a long-term holder, if you're, you know, if you're an investor and you see, not, not see the future, but you see where things are heading, right? For Neo is a company, they've got their, you know, they're building their own technology, you know, artificial um, high-end chips, right? For the autonomous vehicle you know technology they're basically building their own data center and for and and, and, and auto chips etc you're not going to pay attention to people like him because he's going to put you off he's going to put you off of long term you know investing long term uh in neo because basically you're talking about neo as i said making a billion plus in revenue per year from the chips right from the chips now people don't as i say people don't talk about it right people don't um talk about it or they don't know about it but that is that's what's going on guys that's what's going on neo you know neo cars are high tech like They've got this, I mean, I don't know if they steal one of their sports, you know, supercars, sports cars or supercars was the fastest EV in the world. I don't know if it still is, but that's Neo, guys. High technology. Not only that, it's a super, super good looking car, you know. Characteristics of the car are like Italian, you know, design. So... That's filtering down to their cars now. Even the smaller cars, like the Firefly, are going to be like high tech, etc. So the point is that the future of Neo, it's not just in the cars, right? It's not just in the sales. It's not just in the battery, you know, the batteries and the battery swap stations, right? It's in the semiconductors, it's in the chips, guys, right? And that's why Neo stock could be the next NVIDIA, right? It could be the next NVIDIA, guys. And you know how much NVIDIA stock price is. You know, you know how big it is, right? You know how, how, how much it went up, like, in a short space of time. You know it went to the moon. So that's the point. That's the point, guys. Like, you've got to look at, you know, the bigger picture. You can't just focus on, you know, like weekly, weekly sales or, 
you know, weekly sales are up, weekly sales are down, monthly sales. I'm just trying to just trying to see Nvidia stock price here chart give you an idea, but you should already know. Just going to reset the chart. There's Nvidia, right? For example, let's put it on the month to squeeze it. Look, 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 Nvidia, Nvidia, Nvidia. If you would have invested a thousand in Nvidia. Right, going back, you know, right back, thousand, you, you'll be worth like, you know, about half a million, right? So look at look at Nvidia, and then think about Neo. Nvidia was like forty nine cents on this chart going back. Look at it, look at it. Um, look, at it went up to. to 152 it's still still going up still going up right so think of neo as not just an ev not just an ev but and then tesla look at the tesla chart you know it right you know it let's set the chart and say it again you know the chart right you know like tesla it took off it took off in 2020 right and in 2021, but look where Tesla was, around $17, right, on average. And it went over $400. So that's Tesla, that's NVIDIA. Um, so you've got to look at, you've got to think about Neo stock as a tech company, you know, semiconductors artificial intelligence and not just for evs as i said they can use you know sell those chips or use those chips in other other areas other sectors right and license the chips as well so it's advanced guys it's advanced right you're going to see it in 2025 that's why 2025 I, I i think not financial advice but i think it's going to be it's going to be pivotal it's going to be the year that neo makes its move stock price wise right i don't know if it's going to be in the middle of 2025 or the end of 2025 but I'm pretty confident it's going to make some kind of significant move. In my opinion, as I said, those chips, right? They're they're advancing. Those chips, what they're producing, could make like a billion over a billion dollars per year for Neo. Just in those chips, right? And. Um, as I said, you got the ET9 sedan coming out in 2025 using the NX90315 you know, nanometer um, chip. And as I said, the autonomous vehicle, autonomous vehicles, they need this AI type technology. And that's what Neo are doing. That's what Neo are creating. So it's chip automotive, right? At the end of the day, chip automotive. It's, it's like, you know, they've mastered EV. They've mastered EV technology, battery swap. Now they're concentrating and focusing on you know, the chip automotive technology for driver assist and other semiconductors, because they're not relying on, as I said, relying on NVIDIA. They're basically developing their own, you know, auto chips. Um, but the technology can be used in other sectors. They can sell that, those chips and they can license the chips as well so that's it people don't you know people got to think about neo as an artificial intelligence company not just an ev company they've got to focus 
their minds, in my opinion, you know, not financial advice, but long term, it's a big thing, as you know, artificial intelligence. That's why you see an NVIDIA's price, like, so high, etc. So, for me, anyway, I talk about myself. I'm not going to talk about you. You do what you want, right? I, I don't know, like, how many stock, you know, how many shares you got, or if you're buying, or if you're buying more, or if you're holding long term. But for me, my plan is to hold long term because I see a lot more upside than any crypto can give in in the um, in the long term. Like, you know, crypto might go three, four, five, x five. I think the days are over. 2020 2021 when certain cryptos went to the moon and it might still happen on one or two but it's going to be a pump and dump and it's uh obviously it's a lottery what one do you choose there's over like i don't know got to be over a hundred thousand cryptos and generally the ones the obscure ones are the ones that go to the moon and you can't be in 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 all of them because you spread your funds too thin you know what i mean if you used to put one dollar into every crypto, that's, that's like over a hundred thousand dollars. Just one dollar, let alone you're gonna put like a hundred dollars in each or thousand dollars in each or more or whatever. So you see my point that the future, if you're talking about a company, you know, with an underlying underlying asset, which crypto don't really have per se, except for the use, which not really being adopted and not only that neo you know can advance can advance in that space as well in the crypto space it could produce a crypto power um with that technology it has you know if it if it incorporates that technology into its data center that nanotechnology high advanced nanotechnology, then can you imagine, like, it would be the best crypto in the world? Fast, you know, um, not require much energy, et cetera, et cetera. So that's why Neo stock is not only an EV, but really the next NVIDIA. And that's what, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. That's the, along the lines I'm thinking, guys. So let me know in the comments. Am I crazy? <laughs> Am I crazy or do you concur with my, um, you know, with my findings about, you know, in this area? Do you, do, you, do you agree? Do you agree that the future for Neo stock is potentially huge? And especially in 2030, because if you're talking about 2030 and, and Neo going to make a move, you know, um, break out in 2025, showing some big, you know, up, uptick, then what's 2030 going to look like? Given that stocks like, as I say, like stocks like NVIDIA, you see it here. Let's see, like stocks like NVIDIA, look, just in 2022, just in two years, it goes from $14 NVIDIA all the way up to, you know, as you know. And then Tesla, you know, just in a short time, one, two years, right? So Neo, it can do the same thing, right? All it needs is like big buyers. Yeah, big buyers from the Middle East, even from China. And especially the Americans, if they jump on it, right? If they see that the future's Neo, and not Nvidia, not Tesla, if they if they change their mind and say, right, that's it, Tesla's done, Nvidia's done, and they realise that the Chinese are producing what Nvidia produced, but even better, especially Neo, are producing better technology than Nvidia, then. If the money starts pouring in to Neo, Neo stock, 
that's when you're going to see it fly, in my opinion. That's where you're going to see it take off, guys, right? And because it's in-house, as I said, Neo are not just a electric vehicle maker. They're also in-house, you know, building chips in-house. And that's why I think with the ET9, you know, the ET9 sedan in 2025, that's why I think that that's when Neo stock, you know, basically breaks the mold of of like people not really taking Chinese uh, companies seriously in that respect. Um, so yeah, I think it's going to be twenty twenty five in my opinion. And 2030, 2030, guys, is going to be a really, um, I think Neo stock, in my opinion, is going to be huge, 2030. I don't, I don't know how high, right? But if you're talking about NVIDIA, possibly Apple or wrapped in one, you know, and, and an EV, a powerful EV company, with a battery swap and then you know coffee food etc etc think starbucks <clears throat> think nvidia think apple think tesla all in one and that's what neo is guys you're talking when i say ten thousand without any splits when i say ten thousand dollar stock price well that's where that's where you can see it like that's where you can see the possibility, right? Because you put all those kind of companies in one, into one company, and that's where it's possible that it can reach those kind of high, highs, right? I don't know the reality. I don't know the reality of Neo stock, how high, you know, where, where and the, with the current shares, number of shares in issue, I don't know how high it could go to, right? We see it $67. We know that that was a pump and dump. Like a lot of stocks got used, you know, in 2020, 2021. But with what Neo are doing, aside, setting aside pump and dumps, right? With what Neo are doing, it's easy to conceive of a like the stock price it could be and on average it could be you know seven hundred dollars right on average it's it's easy to conceive of of, of of a stock price like that pushing a thousand and could possibly peak thousands upon thousands right like how you see this peak peaked up here just in a puppet dump but it's possible like a peak could be ten thousand dollars it's not inconceivable because you see a lot of stocks are going from one dollar to you know 67 or 100 or more as i say you got to think all those companies in one you got to think about all those companies in one and think about everyone jumping on right jumping on neo stock neo stock neo stock neo stock that's what you're going to be hearing in 2025, right? In my opinion, you're going to be hearing, you know, Neo stock to the moon, Neo stock, not financial advice, but I think that's what's going to happen, guys, for Neo stock. And I think that they're proving themselves, right? They're proving themselves. They're not just designing a vehicle. That looks nice and you know it's got a little bit of luxury and then so on like what they're actually doing is you know building advanced nano chips guys higher level nano chips not just like what say nvidia are building and using on other evs they're building advanced nano chips and this is what's going to make um, this is what's going to set, you know, Neo apart from the competition. Because other EVs in China, they're relying on, 
you know, they're relying on NVIDIA and companies like NVIDIA. And when it all goes pear-shaped, right, when those chips are not advanced enough and it all goes pear-shaped for NVIDIA, all the business is going to go to NEO, right? All the business in that respect is going to go to NEO. And that's where you're going to see NEO stop take off and I think as I said 2025 for Neo stock is going to be a big year it's going to be the year that it makes the move proper we've seen the signal here you know when it, the stock fell all the way but if you, you can't really go by this $67 like you've got to really go by you know We've seen, we've seen it make a move to 770. We've seen like it can fly if it wants to. It could sort of take off. It wasn't really flying there, but it could take off. If you see 770 roughly here, it's more or less within this, you know, the average range of this area here, which was like the high range, you know, going back um, 2018, you know, when, when the stock was um when it was floated right so roughly that that you know that range the peak that it made there 770 is roughly the mid range of that area and obviously neo then fell well, a lot of stocks they could start off high and they fall that's normal right Remember, Neo 2018 was company was only started four years prior to that, right? So when it was listed 2018, because it only had been around since 2014, right? So it's been on the stock market six years, and it, what has happened? It's got pumped pumped and dumped it got used you know over the um you know post pandemic pandemic right so the stock dropped obviously the stock price fell um as i say that average range 770 around about that and the stock fell to which happens to a lot of companies right uh, stock prices one dollar 37 and obviously picked up you've got an average range there 375 which is replicated after the pump and dump was done the 375 was basically the low point um you know we see here in recent times 2024 um so that the low point of 2024 but as you see here it was the high point of basically 2020 if you put the you know the line here at 375 you could see it was more or less at the upper end uh of the um the upper end of the high point you see that you see what i'm talking about like the line is at the upper end of where before it took off and then it's at the lower end here so you see more or less if you if you get rid of all this, the pump and dump, basically you can see Neo stocks heading up, right? It's heading high and this 770 was a, was a sign of that, right? It was, um, it's an indicator. It's a strong indicator because it shows that it's gonna be breaking out of here. It's got basically pumped beyond $15, beyond $20, right? So I think 2025 is the year, in my opinion, based on all what I know and what, you know, what I can, con can conclude, you know, is the year that it breaks out of that $15. Um, as I say, this doesn't count. This is for falling down from the $67 to it reached the bottom. 
so it doesn't count all this you can't so basically it's got to go up to about here 15 16 and 2025 in my opinion to and then start moving higher well it might come down a bit to 11 blah, 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 and then move up again but that's what i think is going to happen in 2025 as i say you can't you know don't get um don't focus on this pump and dump, right? Because you could look at a lot of stocks that were used and get like hyper focused or you can't really count this, right? It's not a, it's not an indicator. It's not a good indicator. The sixty seven dollars is not a good indicator because if you just focus on sixty six dollars and you think, oh. Well, I'll be happy with twenty dollars for Neo stock. Well, when Neo stock goes to twenty dollars, then you'll be selling and not looking at the bigger picture. And those who are looking for sixty-seven dollars, again, when Neo stock, in my opinion, you know, goes to sixty-seven dollars, you'll be cashing out sixty-seven dollars and not. Focusing on well, Neo stock could go to three, four, five, six, seven hundred dollars because you, you you won't see it possible because you you've just looked at you know the pump and dump of sixty seven dollars. You've got to look at the long term picture of Neo stock and not just on the stock price. You've got to actually look at the company, what they're doing, what they're doing, the reasons why they're doing it, and pan out you know into the future. Because obviously they they've panned out into the future, right? And that's the reason why they're doing it. So focus on, which is very important, the nanometer, the five nanometer guys. Focus on the advanced technology, the uh, uh, and you know the artificial intelligence. Neo stock being an artificial intelligence company. Focus on the Neo stock, you know, building in house, in house chips, right? And then, you know, translate that into money. How much is that? You know, how much is that worth on a year basis, right? One billion, possibly minimum right one billion dollars revenue minimum right and then focus on you know how big it can become potentially how big it can become as i said all those companies um in one all those companies in one guys it, it, like a tesla like an nvidia like an Apple, like a Starbucks. And then, like, Neo is going to be, sales are increasing, like an EV company, sales are increasing. It could become bigger than BYD, right? So, I think all those companies in one. And then you'll see that, how big it can become, the stock price. That's what you've got to think about. Don't just think about, you know, you know, they couldn't deliver cars and in time, you know, for people to get the discounts. And, oh, yeah, insurance registrations are not up. You know, that that's all, that's like, you know, you know you're know, focusing on gold dust and you're not seeing the bars of gold like ahead of you, you know, big piles of gold, you know, bars of gold stacked up. You're just looking at the gold dust and, oh, there's not that much gold dust this side and, oh, over there there's a little bit more. And, like, you're not looking ahead. You, your head's down. You're, not, you're just looking at gold dust and you're not focusing on the bigger picture, right? And that's the point. That's the point. And um, you see those people, like, by the way, that, were mining for gold, you know, um, donkeys years ago in, in the 1800s, 
right, in the 1800s, mining for gold in certain, you know, the gold rush and in America and even in Australia, right, you see, you see these people mining for gold and you see now they, there's people finding huge nuggets, right, kilos, kilos and kilos, like, huge nuggets of gold how how is it that they've they missed it all those miners right and the gold rush and all those miners how is it they missed those huge nuggets because they did they basically wasn't looking in the right place or they didn't have the technology to look or the data wasn't right etc so and that's it people are not looking in the right place with neo they're looking at <laughs> They're looking at a stock full, you know, full of beer and panic. They panic. They see this go down and they panic. They're not looking in the right place, right? The right place to look is what Neo are doing with the technology. It's all about the technology, guys, right? Any, any company can build a nice car, nice looking car, nice design. You know, a car that looks like a Porsche. Ferrari, you know, BMW, whatever. Something different. Something like resembles Tesla. Something different. Something like Land Rover Defender, you know, new models. But or something unique, you know, <clears throat> whatever. And they can build luxury, right? Interior, leather, whatever material. You know, it could build a nice suspension and everything else. But technology is, is difficult. AI technology, chips, semiconductors, etc. And that's why they run to NVIDIA. Right? But now, Neo, it's all in-house. And that's the future, guys. That, that's how you have to pan out. Because... First of all, they're going to be saving a ton of money, right? Building their own technology, not relying on companies like NVIDIA. Then they're going to be selling their technology and licensing their technology, etc. So that's the future, guys. Artificial intelligence, an artificial intelligence company, NEO, building the nano chips in-house and i think 2025 is going to be as i say it's going to be a shock a shock wave it's going to send shock waves in this stock market right and you're going to see so many people buying neo stock it's going to be unbelievable and there'll be people crying as well by the way there'll be people crying that they could have bought neo for five dollars you know Four dollars at eighty, four dollars thirty, etc. Five dollars, five fifty. There'll be people crying and telling stories, right, to you know their family and friends. Do you know I held um, Neo stock? I had X amount of Neo stock at five dollars, and I sold it for five twenty, five fifty. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever, right? There'd be people telling these stories, right? <laughs> so, guys, just my opinion, not financial advice, right? Let's look forward to 2025. But I'm sure the journey has only just started. As I said, Neo have only been around 10 years and they've only been, they've only been on a stock market six years or thereabouts. And they... I've only just started building, you know, within basically this year, 2024, they've only just completed the NX9031, you know, the five nanometer. They've only just finished it in 2024, guys. So you can imagine what they're going to do in 2025. You can imagine, guys. So anyway, guys, like... Um, yeah, check out my other videos uh, on Neo stock and other stocks. I'm trying to add more stocks as well. 
and uh, don't forget to like the video and share the video share on stock tweets and yahoo conversations and other trading platforms 212 etoro uh all other platforms with chat rooms guys etc